Hey everybody, Retro Geek Dad here with another toy review. This time we are looking at a Masters of the Universe Origins Series 2 figure. Um, I had pre-ordered this a little while back. I just got it the yesterday, the day before, I believe. Um, anyway, I wanted to kind of go over how it was sent to me uh, before we get into the actual figure. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are aware how... Walmart sends out their figures. Um, it's been a really big issue with how poorly these have been sent out. Um, the only thing I've done is opened it. You know, I haven't taken the figure out or anything. I just opened it to see to make sure it was the right thing. But I wanted to kind of show off, you know, and let, you know, make everyone aware of how Walmart sends their items out. This, this has been an issue. Um, I know a lot of the other you know, YouTube reviewers have gone over how poorly these have been sent out and how uh, nonchalant and uh, uncaring, you know, almost potent or intentional, you know, they're sending it out like these. But as you can tell, the cord, the figure is just shoved in here. Like the box isn't even big enough. Um, the card is bent. You know, there's only a, you know, a little bit of bubble wrap in here, but I'll take a look at the card. Now, it for me, since I'm going to unpack it anyway, it's not much of an issue, but I know there are a lot of, uh, you know, mental card, inbox collectors, but I mean, that's, that's just, that's uncalled for, you know, that's unnecessary. Um. It's almost to the point where, you know, it will probably be easier to get it off of eBay if you are a in-the-box collector as opposed to ordering it from Walmart.com. But um, here we have Trabjaw. Uh, Trabjaw is another one of my personal favorites. My vintage Trabjaw I have is 100% uh, complete. He's the only one I have this 100% complete still. But doing a review and a comparison with the vintage is going to be really cool because we have, you know, the complete thing. Um, going over the package real quick. Um, you know, we have the Trap Jaw Modern Play Retro Posing. Or Modern Posing Retro Play. Sorry, I had that backwards. Um, the Trap Jaw himself. We do have a new mini comic, so yay on that. Uh, looks to be Double Trouble uh, on the back. In this little, we have our, you know, our picture up here at the top. Um, we have, you know, He-Man and Ram Man, and Trap Jaw. Ram Man, we're actually getting, um, I believe, it's, you know, next year at some point. Uh, he's going to be released as a deluxe figure that comes with, I think, two heads and a couple of extra hands. Um, more of a collector-friendly figure, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing. But um, Trap Jaw. I never really understood the whole, you know, the thing on top of his helmet where he slides down a rope. Um, when I was a kid, you know, I thought it was like you hang a Christmas hook in there and put him on the tree or something. Um, but yeah. Here's a little description here. I want to read it. Um, we have our... Series 2 lineup, uh, Mini Faces, Orko, Trap Jaw, and Scare Glow, which I'm really excited for Scare Glow 2. Um, he's going to be good. He's gonna be pretty cool to review because I do have the original uh, Scare Glow. Um, we have the instructions, you know, changing out his hands. Uh, his jaw opens and closes. Here we have the UPC code, all the legal stuff. Um, they have He-Man and Skeletor on the back with the Wave 2. I don't know if He-Man and Skeletor are going to be re-releases. Um, I think I had read somewhere or heard in an interview somewhere that they're going to keep re-releasing, you know, figures as lines continue. So if you don't get, you know, a Series 1 figure, then it'll be available, you know, maybe in a Series 5, you know, they'll re-release the figure. Um, but from what I understand, Mattel's gonna keep producing these make keep making them they once they get distributed i know right now walmart's the only place that has them 
but next year they're going to be um, more of a, a wider release, you know, Target and, um, you know, other stores like that. Target's the only one I can think of right now. But other stores will have these. Um, so if you can't find them, just, just be a little patient. Do not buy them off of eBay from scalpers who are wanting to charge, you know, $30 for this, you know, $15 figure. Do not do that. Do not feed the scalpers. Um, we're going to open him up and take a quick review, compare him to the vintage figure, and go from there. Okay, so we are going to open Trap Jaw up and take a look at him. And like the previous releases, we do have the, uh, the tabs that you know, would hold the mini comic. But right off the bat, we have our mini comic, Double Trouble. Uh, looks pretty neat. Two Orcos. Uh, I'm not going to really get into reading it. But, um, you know, I do see Orco, I do see Trap Jaw, I do see Scared Glow in the comic. So I'll set that to the side. And then with our figure, we have the. Sorry about that. The two rubber bands. One here and one here. The accessories are on the back. You trash all the rubber bands. Stand right there. Okay. And we'll take a look at the accessories really quick. these open and see what we have so we have I can get them out okay so we have the robot claw we have the laser rifle blaster and we have the hook now each of these, they do have the little hooks right here. Now this is to go on to his belt. Um, on the back of his belt, the little notches and these slide in there like the vintage figure. So whichever one you're not using, you know, they can attach to his belt. It's a little difficult to see on a black background, but there you go. Let's set these down. All right, so we have, I'll get that rubber band out of there. All right, so as far as his actual robot arm, we have, you know, up and down. We have rotation in the elbow. So here, we do have, you know, the other up and down, bend at the elbow, swivel, you know, ball joint, the wrist up and down, swivels, waist turns, legs, you know, ball joint, legs, knees, they twist and turn. Now the feet, they do not go back that far because of the armor, leg armor right here. So they will go forward, but not so much backwards. Um, on his face, the mouth does open pretty, pretty wide. Of course, you can see the bottom right there. A real big old bite of metal. Um, has a little, little hole here where you can hang him on the Christmas tree if you need to. Um, check out some of the weapons uh, that's pretty cool you look at the blaster and the robot claw so the hook was always my favorite I always kind of thought of him as a pirate you know, just because of the hook and everything like 
instead of a jaw, it would be a beard. Um, you know, this one was a kid. But I do, I really do like the articulation in his arm. Um, I always, you know, it was always kind of a problem. Yeah, not really a problem. Um, it kind of irked me when I was a kid that we couldn't bend that arm. But, I mean, we have really good articulation now. Like he's, you know, scratching his head or something. So that's pretty cool. The belt, um, the belt does come off. It's got kind of a, like the little notch. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah. See the little notch that slides in there. And you just pull it through. So that's removable. You know, and we do have, you know, where the figure comes apart. Um, let me take it apart and everything. Now the arm, I'm interested to see how this is going to work. Okay, and then you... Ah! So this piece right here, his little... Um, I don't know what you would call it, but this little shoulder piece on the vintage figure, it was a separate piece. Um, on this one, is actually molded into the body, so it does not come off. So that's interesting. So as far as the arm, you know, I have the same, you know, peg. So if you wanted to put, let's see, I have just out of, I have He-Man sitting right here. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, no, it doesn't sit quite. So it's got a little, it's not completely flush, but yeah, you know, if you wanted to, uh, Whenever there's a faker, you know, you give faker a little robot arm like that, that would be kind of cool. You know, just part of the customizing them. But, um, get He-Man out of the way. So, yeah, um, I would assume that that's why that's cut so deep in there, is to hide, you know, where that doesn't uh, come through. And, you know, that comes off at the waist and everything. So, we will put Trapjaw back together, get him weaponized, and we will do a side-by-side -side with the vintage figure. Okay, so we're back, and unfortunately, my vintage Trapjaw does not stand up very well. But, side-by-side -side with the vintage... Of course, mine's a little bobble heady. Um, I just here's playing with it. But the uh, head on the vintage one is a little more detailed. I kind of like that better. The new one is a little more, I want to say cartoony. Um, it looks more like the Super 7 uh, vintage style trap jaw. But both of them have the little hole. Um, vintage is a little darker. The colors on the new one are a little more vibrant. We're the same layout with the weapons. Like I was talking about on the vintage, so we have no articulation, but the vintage one, if I can get it, this arm would come off. And see, this was a separate piece. But on the new one, this piece is actually molded into the figure itself. So that does not come off. You know, in the vintage one, the mouth didn't open that much. You know, just enough. Um, but yeah, I, the, the head on the vintage, I like a lot better. Um, it's just more detailed, but that's just one thing. Saying, uh, this ring actually came packaged with trap jaw and I believe it was Triclops, the vintage figures. Um, it's just a little, you know, a little glow in the dark ring. Um, it actually opens right here. Uh, it says masters on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see that. See if I can zoom it in a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. I just, you know, it was just a little glow in the dark ring. You know, something for, you know, the kids to play with. And, but 
it would have been a nice little, you know, like a little throwback if they had included that in the, uh, you know, the trap jaw figure. But maybe we'll see them in the, you know, some of the future releases. But um, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you again soon.